It's the Hoover Dam. Sometimes I feel like I'm just following around that textbook that I used to have in high school. That geography book. It was like the one subject I was really good at. This is like right out of my book. Water looks a little low though, huh? Like all time low. So, in order for this spillway to be spilling over, the water level is going to come up like a couple hundred feet up there, up over the edge, and over, over that. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Do with it what you will. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend. And surrender a bit more wealth for more instruction from Voltar.
here up uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're on the Rocky Gap Trail. Rocky Road Gap Trail. It's gorgeous out here. I mean, I guess you hear me say that a lot. It's gorgeous out here. It's gorgeous all these places I'm going. But uh, I don't think I'm going to continue too far up the trail. It supposedly gets pretty gnarly, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff i got to do in town. Plus, I mean, I did just kind of clean the Jeep. But anyway, highly recommend you come up here and take a look. So today, we are here in Las Vegas and Red Rock Canyon. For obvious reasons, it's called Red Rock Canyon. And uh, the day spots are all closed due to COVID. So I'm here in a side parking lot and I need to try to put a brand new rear track bar in. I need to do the front too, but today's agenda was the rear. So I need to take that old one off and put this new one on. And I don't have tools big enough to fit on any of these nuts. So here's my tool setup. I got an adjustable and a set of channel locks. So this should be entertaining. Got my handy dandy cardboard creeper. So we're gonna get this uh, job rolling. I only really gave myself about a half an hour to do it because I got other things I gotta go do, but let's see if we can whip this out in time. This, my friends, is what happens when you trust the qualified parts professionals. They gave me the wrong one.
to the next thrilling chapter of our fairy tale story. So walking down the Grand View Trail in Grand Canyon. It's a beautiful day. It's like 60 degrees, but there's no wind, so the sun's just just right. I'm in pants. Got my jeans on. Go check the views. Spectacular already. Now I will note that this trail is uh, not further weak than these because it is literally along the edge of some very steep cliffs so for those of you who aren't so good on your feet or clumsy you might want to uh, not go alone steps so down at the bottom of this is Horseshoe Mesa now Horseshoe Mesa is where they used to go mining for copper and stuff like that and uh, I won't be walking all the way down there because it's a really long walk and I don't remember the altitudes but it's only like 2200 feet down and then you gotta come 2200 feet back up so probably not but Right in here, if I zoomed in, you'd see little mines, little holes in the side of the mesa. And that's where they were mining for copper. Oh, look at this, this is cool. Built up. Like underneath the edge. That's a pretty gnarly trail. Supposedly they take mules and burrows up and down this. That's how they used to get the copper up and out of the mines. Oh, what a gorgeous day. All that haze and smoke from the wildfires is kind of gone. All hazy from all the smoke. We ended up having a little rain last night. A rain in Arizona? Really? Yeah. Pretty spectacular. So, if this is the kind of 
hiking scenery that you would like, come to Grand Canyon. It's great. It almost looks fake. There's probably going to be things in there. I wasn't prepared for that part. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. Look at you go, cave woman, with short legs. <laughs>